You already know what time it is. Hey, long time no talk. I'm really sorry, but I don't have the number saved. Who is this? Lol, come on. You know who this is. Um, it's Chad, lol. I don't think it was that forgettable. Hello? I was at the gym, what's up? And you don't have your phone at the gym? Lol, alright then. Huh? I went there to work out, not sit at the machines on my phone. Sorry. It's fine, I forgive you. Hmm. What are you doing this weekend? Okay, Brad and I are going to the trip this weekend. Who the fuck is Brad? <laughs> there we go. There, that's... I was waiting for this. My boyfriend? What's with the attitude? The attitude, in quotations, is because when we ended things, you said it was because you weren't ready to be dating so close after your breakup. And that means that you wanted me to wait for you until you were ready, not give you free pass to be a fucking slut who dates other guys. Dude, we went out over three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right well th this gives more depth to the story now three years ago dude you were waiting for her three years fuck we weren't dating and me ending things was because i didn't want to be dating anyone at the time and i didn't want to be rude and completely gosh you and calling me a slut is ridiculous are you still at your same place i'm gonna come over and we can talk things over i think i can give you another shot i know you feel the same i'll be there in 20 Dude, what the actual fuck? No, I don't want to give this another shot. I literally just told you I have a boyfriend and you're fucking creeping me out. Stop. Holy shit. What? So now it's bad for a guy to fight for his girl and to show his emotions? Don't tell me to stop. How about you stop being a fucking bitch and hear me out about this? Seriously, what does Brad have that I don't? That's right. He probably has nothing. He probably treats you like shit. God, it's amazing how girls turn down good guys for douchebags and think they'll end up happy. You're a cunt and I hope he cheats on you. You deserve that because you could have had me when you had the chance and you fucked up. Eat shit and die. Oh boy. This is a uh, classic nice guy. Here we go. Uh, let's review, shall we? We start off with, uh, with being nice and asking her out on a date after you know maybe maybe there was a little bit of miscommunication three years ago where uh where she blew him off so if and then there goes the defense this uh this is this is where all nice guys lose their shit and uh and basically tell a girl that she's either fat either she's a cunt she's a bitch any of those top three work and then you end up with a nice closure of eat shit and die perfect classic let's go holy fuck this is a long one boys here we go Hey, thank you for your time earlier today. I don't want to lie to you or get your hopes up, but I don't see any potential between us. I'm so sorry. I really just wanted to meet you since you've been so nice to me and I wanted to give us a chance, but I guess we don't have it. I'm really sorry. I wish you the best of luck and I know you will find an amazing person to be with. Pretty polite. She even uh, she even gives you a, a, a nice uh, blushy friendly face. I mean, no problem, you know? You have good dates, you have bad dates. I know it all too well doesn't work you move on bro wow so you lied yes yeah, some fucking chance honestly it's fine you all do the same to me you see me in person and nowhere near this what i am on text i was seriously waiting for this message thumbs up bro if you made it this far in the video please leave a thumbs up in the comments how fucking miserable do i have to be before you fucking bitches are happy huh why am i never wanted by anyone huh who huh? because i'm a fucking loser and you just reiterated that so thank you and fuck you and I wish you nothing but bad luck, because that's what you deserve. I hope you're happy hurting me. You're nothing but a liar. I am very sorry. You can hate me all you want, it's fine. I understand what you're going through. It took me many tries and so many heartbreaks to finally find someone I think I can finally depend on. I already get the same talk. How nice I am and all of a sudden they drop me. I am not happy to hurt you at all. I am hurting at the same time because I know exactly how it feels. Yeah, it's taken me eight years. Nothing! eight fucking years i don't like dishonesty but hey i'm used to it there's always someone better than peter then or then whatever everyone always is better than me man you gotta fix your knowledge of then and then because you're using that word wrong bro you're using it wrong i talk too much i'm ugly i don't drink i'm different i'm too affectionate i'm too sweet who the fuck wants me ah oh, so it just happened Bull fucking shit. That's what everyone says. It just happened. Shit don't just happen. Hey, everyone else is better than me too. See, she knows how to use then. Bravo. Perfect. Why would I be on Tinder or OkCupid on the, in the first place if I can't find anyone? Oh, here we go. 
You are the victim. Make this about you. I'm not making this about me. I'm saying I know what you're going through. No, you don't. Nobody does. I'm done for good. Staying single. Fuck girls. No fucking comment. I don't want anyone. It's pain. It's torture. It's nasty. It's horrible. Fuck love. You just made that very clear. I'm not meant at all to be for anyone. I feel like bawling my eyes out. Happy fucking Sunday. I love seeing those messages first thing when I wake up. Reminds me of what a fucking loser I am and just give up. I'm very truly for what happened. I know it feels like shit. I feel it every single day. Feel free to block me anytime though. Next time I meet someone, I'm gonna shut up and be quiet. Act like a normal person. Actually do something with them and just not act like myself. Stop saying sorry because you're not. What kind of a chance was that, huh? You judge me after one meet, whatever. Don't give me another chance. You just shut me down. Keep getting hurt. I'd never do that. Like I said, I would from the start. But no! <laughs> I'm just a friend. I'm a fucking nobody. You're not a nobody. Someone will definitely see your value. I cried the same thing to my best friend yesterday. It's miserable. It's horrible. It's painful. I know you hate me, so you can say things about me. It's fine. I will stop now. What? You cried because you met horrible me? And you're traumatized, right? Wouldn't be the first time. Thumbs up. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, please leave two thumbs up in the comments. I know you hate me, so you can say things about me. It's fine. I will stop now. For the second time, she's gonna tell you to sh shut the fuck up, bro. J just stop. Thanks for not giving me a chance. You're all the same. I will never be accepted and never be wanted. I get it. I'm done. Thank you for bringing my monster out. Still typing? My fucking wrist is in so much pain from typing. I hope you're happy. I'm going for a drive. Alone. Again. I have a lovely fucking day. I'm so depressed. All I see on my Instagram is people having fun, being loved, selfies with friends, just happy. I see my photos, stupid pictures and videos. People wonder why I have no pics of friends or people. I tell them, well, I have nobody. I have me. Because people just throw me away like trash. <laughs> wow. I need to, I need, I honestly need to break from this one because this was a lot of yelling and this was a lot of, <laughs> this was a lot of effort. <laughs>He finessed the fuck out of the caps lock key. Holy crap. I mean, this is a typical classic nice guy response and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I mean, fuck man, it's, it's just a bad date. You would know this if you actually been on more than two. Like, come on. Bad dates happen, it, they happen to everyone, both guys and girls, it doesn't matter, you move on, it doesn't happen, whatever, there's like a thousand other people you can go on a date with. Who cares, dude? I mean, this actual nice guy broke out of the basement dweller stereotype and actually got a date, but now it's time to keep it going, it's time to, you know, if it doesn't work out the first time, you try again. It's not the end of the world, it's not the end of your life. This may be personal experience talking because... I've been through many bad dates, but I'm a strong believer there's someone out there for everyone. This is a text message thread with Leon. Best boyfriend you could have, but you choose no. I have a couple of guys in mind. They will all use you and treat you like garbage. All within the legal range for you to date, may I add? Yeah, but you don't know who I'm talking about. Just saying, us dating is not a problem unless we do sexual stuff. But anyways, you made your choice. Like every other girl, your choices are terrible. Riddle me fucking this. This is a Facebook post. I'm a nice guy and I'll always be good for you. So, riddle me this. Why oh why does a nice guy like me have to beg and plead for love? Forever single? Maybe. But ladies need to wise up and let me be your perfect man already, lol. I can cook, lol. Seven people like this. Someone gave him a heart. Four comments. Mainly this guy needs to learn how periods work. But judging from this comment, I don't think he's ever met a girl in his life, so I wouldn't expect that kind of knowledge from him. <laughs> hey. Wave, hello? Yes? I think we should go on a date sometime. I know you're newer in town, so consider it a favor. Thanks, but I'm honestly trying to get my ducks in a row before I hang out with anyone. Well then, fuck you. Boy, that escalated quickly. <laughs> It really didn't take long for this guy, it's, it's, this guy is to the point, nice guy from the start to end. You should be lucky anyone even wants to talk to you, 
ugly, broke, gold-digging whore. You lucked out. I was nice enough to even offer. Wow, this was a test to see if you were actually a nice guy. I would have actually gone out with you, but you blew it, bud. Peace. Hey, it's what I, it's what I say at the end of all, all my videos. Peace. Wait. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> uh, the, the apology, it comes so quick. The second he realized he has a chance, the I'm sorry is boom. Sometimes it just gets so frustrating. I'm so used to heartbreak and letdown. Let's try this again. I swear I'm actually a nice guy. Man. I, you know, after that, after that opening, I would 100% believe you're a nice guy. After, she didn't even say no to you. There was no no in the sentence. I just say, I, I think I should have, you know, I think I have to do a few things before we go on a date, you know? That's not a no. And he immediately goes and you're like, fuck you, you know? You're a nice guy, dude. I believe that. You're a nice guy. All right, guys, this is going to do it for today's video. I'm trying to post every week from now on and from the past couple of videos. I'm trying to keep a schedule. I don't really have a schedule, but I'm, I'm, try I'm trying my best here, okay? But yeah, no. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.